Well, maybe we can just rub the nub. <laughs> We're going to be unboxing Urban Decay's Game of Throne makeup set. We took this from Devin. Yeah. We were a little jealous, I think. A little jealous. Yeah. And then we were like, we want to look inside of it and then play around. And then we were like, we should do that for camera. Devin is here in spirit. I am a longtime viewer of Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. and you recently started watching it. So it's interesting because I feel like we usually are on par with watching like a lot of the same shows. And Game of Thrones was just one that I just could not get through. Like. It took me a year and a half to get to the end of season two. But now I've jumped on the bandwagon and I've been binging it so that I can try to watch the last season with everyone else. I'm almost at season seven now. Oh, you're close. Mm -hmm. You're really close. It's getting good, isn't it's it? It's getting crazy. Yeah, it's getting really good. Do you have like a favorite character? I'm a big Sansa fan. I'm a big Arya fan. Okay. I like Jon Snow now. Whenever they cut to the wall, I was like, oh my God, where's the um, wall again? Plus a character I really like dies. You have a Game of Thrones hot take. I, I do too. have a Game of Thrones hot take. Which are, I think we have the same one. My Game of Thrones hot take is that Talisa was not worth it. I liked her. I think, you should, I think she should have just walked away. Like watching it in real time, did people realize how much was at stake? I didn't. It seemed like everybody had just moved on. When I remember when he was just like, I'm gonna marry her. I was like, you are stupid, stupid, stupid. And now your dog is gonna get dragged down into this too? Stupid. My hot take is that I think Rob Stark is hotter than Jon Snow. What? <laughs> wait, wait, okay, wait. Okay, but this is the thing. I came up with this hot take early on, like season three, season four. Now, Jon Snow's away from the wall and like I can actually just like see him. I don't know, the wall just gave a, a weird vignette. But I, I just couldn't see Jon Snow's face. I never liked the wall, but that is like a blazing hot jo take. Rob Stark is so cute. Rob Stark sucks. <laughs> he won like two battles and then he made like a massive tactical error that completely f his family for like three seasons. Rob Stark is a dummy. Listen, <laughs> I'm not talking about his decision-making skills. His decision-making skills factors into it for me. <laughs> his cute little face. We could do a whole hot takes on this. I, I miss Rob Stark. Maybe he's in here <laughs> and you can say hi to him again. I miss Rob Stark. <laughs> All right, let's, All right, let's dive in. I love it. I love this little package. So this is cute. I actually accidentally fell on it yesterday, so I'm really glad that it didn't get damaged. <laughs> How did you fall on it? Well, I just fell and I put my hand on it and I heard like a little bit of a squish and I was like, Oop. but it seems to be fine, so. Tyrion is my favorite character. I agree. I think Tyrion's my favorite character too, although I do love Sir Davos. Who that? He befriends Sandus' daughter. Are you seriously still not knowing who I'm talking about? Oh, because he can't read. Because he can't read. Yeah, His yeah, daughter yeah. teaches him how to read. Yeah, 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 yeah. He cool. This is the eyeshadow palette. Mm -hmm. Look how cute it is. Wow. Take the black is White Walker. How do you feel about the White Walkers? Do they stress you out? Do you think they'll win? This is a show where we suffered the whole time and therefore we have to have a win at the end. If this was a show where we didn't suffer the whole time and then at the end it's terrible, like fine. But like, I just, I feel like people would be unhappy. It was yeah. like, and after all that, they all died and nothing was gained. Hope you enjoyed spending eight <laughs> years on this. I have another hot take. Well, I don't know if it's a hot take. I don't like Bran. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have had to die for Bran's bull Brand just be chilling, sleeping, <laughs> dreaming, being dragged around, letting people die. His little eyes. A lot of more interesting characters, frankly, have had to suffer. Except for Rickon. Rickon was not very interesting. No. Poor Rickon. He died on the altar of being a prop for up the plot. <laughs> oh, sh Oh, you don't know that yet. No! Oh, well. It's fine. It's... Um... It, for, for, no, 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 it never happened. <laughs> So these seem to be divided by location. Here's the hard home colors. This is the Winterfell colors, the King's Landing colors, oh. and the Bay of Dragons colors. I love that. The King's Landing colors are beautiful. I really like the Bay of Dragons colors, personally. Oh yeah, I feel like that's up your alley too. Mm -hmm. I really like sparkly eyeshadow. Mm. Okay, let's swatch. I feel like whenever I swatch, I always start <laughs> way too far down my arm. We're running out of space. We're running out of little space. Wow, I love how this take the black pigments. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Next is White Walker. Ooh, that's more iridescent than I thought it was. Yeah, it's like a periwinkle. Wow, it kind of just looks like sunscreen on me. This is Frozen North. The shine on this is like 80s level. It really is. <laughs> I love it. I'm doing Free Folk now. What is Free Folk? 
They're the people who live north of the wall, basically. That are like not white walkers. So it's more white. Yes. Ooh, it's like frosty. Do Nymeria first. I don't love this as much. It's not even a crease color for me. It's kind of like chalky. Sorry, Nymeria. Sorry, Nymeria. I'm gonna do winter is here. This feels more like a crease color to me. It's a little iridescent. Yeah, it's a little sparkly. I'm not mad about it. I'm excited more about the colors beyond the wall than the, <laughs> the north colors. Beyond the wall. This yeah. is a little perp. I don't love this either. Oh, I like the perp. It's like great. Maybe I just prefer shiny eyeshadow. Well, that's not true, I like it. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the site is like a more green version of Frozen North. They're sort of like a semi-matte. It's like an interesting formula. All the colors beyond the wall are like shiny, shiny, shiny. <laughs> And then the colors for the north are like... It's like, we're not shining that high, but we're still a little icy, icy, icy. Winterfell? This one's gonna be intense, I can tell, just by the way it went on my finger. This is definitely the best color of the north colors. Cute. You see where I'm fixing my swatches? <laughs> <laughs> Did a little dip and I came back up. <laughs> Next is the red keep. This is very similar to basically every color. I wear like kind of a coppery eyeshadow like all the time. So pretty. It's like a little bronze medal for your arm. Like you were good, but not good enough. <laughs> oh, you aren't to the part where they visit Casterly Rock, are you? Who's they? I'm not, I'm clearly not gonna say who. <laughs> I've already spoiled a character death for you. We've been shooting this for like 20 minutes. It's funny that they picked sort of this like metallic brown for Casterly Rock, considering that like Casterly Rock is sort of home of the Lannisters who have tons and tons of gold. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of surprised this isn't a gold color. Maybe they just like toned it down since Lannisters are trash. Why is House Lannister pink? Eee, I don't like this on me. It's nice on you. I think it looks nice on you. Really? I see a universe where you do like a 60s Barbie look and then Ooh. you use this as like a shadow. Yeah, Kristen's got the vision. I have a vision. Yes. <laughs> Lannister red, which is actually sort of a brown red, but who's counting? It's like coagulated blood. Yeah, it's sort of like blood, but the victim's been there for a while. For a while. King's Landing. Whoa. Ew. It's like the sun. This would be great for a corner. We're gonna fight Devin for this palette. Right. right. Stormborn. This is a frosty b purple. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just got so annoyed thinking about Bran again. Bran sucks, I'm sorry. I know people who are just like, Team Bran. House Targaryen, House. I like it a lot. Oh, I love this one. This yeah. might be, honestly, one of my favorites. Dothraki, which is gold for some reason. I feel like if you're doing a Dothraki color, it's like, bleh. I don't love this tone. I don't either, it's like a little brassy. I think King's Landing is a nicer gold on you than Dothraki is. Bend the Knee is sort of just a lighter Stormborn. I would say it's even more Lisa Frank esque Mm. I mean, I like it. I don't think it pigments as nicely on me as it does on you. I think mm. it's like a little bit. It falls a little flat. Doesn't work quite as well. All right, last one. Bay of Dragons. This is sort of a pink gold type color. I don't think this looks good on me, but I think it's pretty. I like it. Shockingly, I really liked North of the Wall. That was my choice too. Now that I see all of the Winterfellish colors together, I understand how they work together. Yeah. And then what's your least favorite? Funny, because I was like, ooh, I like the King's Landing category the best, but I think that's my least favorite. Same. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're moving on to the next phase of this package. The bottom oh, drawer. The bottom drawer. Let's see what's under the bed. We have a myriad yeah. of items here. There's two eyeshadow brushes. One is called the Arya Stark's Needle, which is her sword. So dainty and cute. Mine is Jon Snow's Long Claw. This is the brush for laying down and blending. And then that one is more for precision. Small but mighty. We're gonna test these brushes out using the same color for both brushes. So you can see what these brushes can do. So what color are you gonna choose? I'm gonna do Frozen North. This has a different application than my finger. It's a little bit more sheer, yes. a little bit more broad. Definitely more for precision. I'm into it. Trade, there you go. Okay. <laughs> this is sharp. I actually poked a hole in the eyeshadow just <laughs> now. It's a little bit more pigmented. A little bit more concentrated, like orange juice. It feels very soft on my skin. Yeah. Oh yeah, wow, okay. I guess you can tell the pigmentation difference on my arm or yeah, your arm. Yeah, definitely. Now we're gonna move on to the highlight palette, Mother of Dragons highlight palette. And these are all named after Daenerys' dragons. They got eggs on them. I don't know how I feel about these highlight colors, honestly. That pink. I don't know, you may be pleasantly surprised. So the pink one is called Drogon. It's very subtle. And also I feel like the pink highlighter is really kind of dangerous because you kind of run the risk of having it be like, I got apples on my face. <laughs> it's pretty. Next. I like Viserion a lot. It's pretty on Viserion you. Viserion is beautiful. Oh, it's very natural, weirdly. Yeah. I mean, not that any highlight is natural. <laughs> yeah, I think Rhaegal might be my favorite. I like both uh, Rhaegal and Viserion. Drogon. Yeah, Drogon. Mm. 
Mm. Can kick rocks. Yay, pencils! Ready to dragon smoke? Yeah, let's dragon Whoop. smoke. It's actually, it's a black, but it has sort of an iridescent purple to it. They really got creative with this eyeliner. I'm into it. This one is Lannister Gold. So I'm assuming this will be a gold eyeliner. It better be a gold. Watch it be like green. Like, <laughs> like pretty as hell. <laughs> pretty as hell. Hell is not pretty, but if it were, it'd be like this. This is the Night King. What color is it? It's blue. Oh. That's gorgeous. I love that. Hey, 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 hey. I'm sorry. These are great eyeliners. I love these. This might be my favorite part of this. Honestly, so yeah. Far. This one is Winterfell Snow. It broke or something. Oh no. I'm being. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Another resident of Winterfell. I was able to get a little bit. We're gonna try to rub the nub. Like that does sound like a punishment that would have existed yes. on Game of Thrones. You well, shall rub the, the nub. nub. This is very awkward. I don't like this as a liner anyway. It's kind of like too iridescent. The lipsticks. This one is Daenerys Targaryen. That's a beautiful red. It has like a little bit of a, like I want to say brown undertones to it. Yeah. It's really Ooh. smooth and satiny, satin finish. Yeah, actually, it's more of a berry than I thought it would be. Yeah, not as much brown. Not actually. as much brown, I was wrong. White Walker. This packaging is really beautiful. They really outdid themselves. <gasps> oh, I wasn't expecting this. I was thinking it was going to be like white lipsticks. It's definitely yeah. a berry. Sansa Stark. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wonder what color it's going to be. Oh, it's like a peach. I mean, it's sheer. Yeah, it's really sheer. This one is Cersei Lannister. This is giving me like 90s vibes. Yes. Oh, this is nice. I like this. That's really nice. Not it's for me. Definitely more brown. It's a little bit too brown. <laughs> and then this last one is Dracarys Lip and Cheek Stain. Yeah. I mean, this looks like blood. <laughs> How do you even? I think you just do a little drop hole and then like maybe give it a rub. Oh, a little goes a long way. Yeah. I'm not into stains. I don't like stains either. Stains are for Kool-Aid. Now we're gonna take our faves and we're gonna each do a look with our faves. Mm -hmm. Yep. One, One two, two, three. three. We cute. Oh, you look so cute. You look like a forest angel. So oh. let's talk about what we use. Yes. I used Lannister Red with a dash of Nymeria for my crease color. And then I used Winterfell in the middle. Mm -hmm. On the outside, I used Frozen North. And then on the inside, I used Red Keep. Eyeliner is Dragon Smoke. And then highlighter is Ragel. And then lip is Cersei. You kind of borrowed from everything. I borrowed from everything, yeah. I wanted to stay within the Winterfell family, mm -hmm. mostly. I used the site on the inside and then winter's here. And then I put winter fell sort of on my brow bone slash smoked it out slash just kind of made a big sparkly thing. And then I did use Lannister gold on my little lids for the eyeliner. Love it. And then my highlight is Viserion, mm -hmm. the middle one. Love it. And then my lip is Sansa. These are cute. <laughs> this Look. is really fun. This it actually fun. kind of was a little bit challenging figuring out how I was gonna work the colors into, you know, one cohesive look. I was stressed, cause I was just like, I wanna do Stark colors, but what does that mean? <laughs> and I was like, maybe I'll do all five. And then I was like, I don't have the skill for that. <laughs> so I toned it down. I love it. Cute, all right. Yay! We swatched Game of Thrones colors and then did makeup looks. Lady tested, Lady. Dracarys. <laughs> That's not what vampire sounds. <laughs> Wrong fantasy universe, but okay.